Associate Administrator Jim Free, Associate Administrator. NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew 9 next February, uh, and that Starliner uh, will return uncrewed, and the specifics in the schedule will be discussed momentarily. Three, two, one, ignition. And liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V, carrying two American heroes, drawing a line to the stars for all of us. I want you to know that Boeing has worked very hard with NASA to get the necessary data to make this decision. <clears throat> we want to further understand the root causes and understand the design improvements so that the Boeing Starliner will serve as an important part of our assured crew access to the ISS. Lots of cheering here in the room, big hugs. Sunny William coming through in her blue flight suit. Oh. And followed shortly behind by Commander of Starliner, Butch Wilmore. Space flight is risky, even at its safe to, safest and even at its most routine. And a test flight by nature is neither safe nor routine. And so the decision to keep Butch and Sonny aboard the International Space Station and bring the Boeing Starliner home uncrewed is a result of a commitment to safety. Our core value is safety, and it is our North Star. I'll just reiterate again, this is a test flight. We were expecting to find some things, and so we are finding stuff, and we're, we're correcting it and making changes, making updates with our control team. The, the bottom line relative to bringing Starliner back is it was just, there was just too much uncertainty in the prediction of the thrusters. If we had a model, if we had a way to accurately predict uh, what the thrusters would do for the undock and all the way through the deorbit burn and through the separation sequence, I think we would have taken a different course of action. But when we looked at the data and looked at the potential for thruster failures with a crew on board, uh, and then getting into this very tight sequence of finishing the deorbit burn, which puts the vehicle on an entry, and then immediately uh, maneuvering from that into a SEP sequence to separate the service module and crew module, it was just too much risk with the crew, and so we decided to pursue the uncrewed uh, test flight. <clears throat> Approximately 90, 90 meters away from the International Space Station.